they said it couldn't be done. They said no generator could truly withstand the raw, unbridled power of an earthquake and keep running. Prepare to have your mind blown as we put that theory to the ultimate test. You're about to witness Maxwell's shaken, not stirred, generator defy every expectation. This is not just a machine, it's a statement. It proves that resilience can be engineered. Forget everything you thought you knew about emergency power. We are about to show you the most resilient power source ever created. This is a machine that laughs in the face of a 9.0 magnitude tremor. Can a machine truly be earthquake-proof? This video isn't just a demonstration. It's a front-row seat to the future of disaster-resistant energy. Remember February 6, 2023? That was the day a series of massive earthquakes struck Turkey and Syria. The devastation was almost beyond comprehension. Entire cities were reduced to rubble in minutes. But one of the most immediate and catastrophic failures was the power grid. In the blink of an eye, millions were plunged into darkness. Hospitals, the very places where lives were hanging in the balance, scrambled for backup power. Sometimes that backup failed too. Communication towers went silent. Water treatment plants stopped functioning. This blackout wasn't just an inconvenience, it was a death sentence for many. Our modern world is built on a fragile, invisible backbone, electricity. We rely on it for everything. From the incubators keeping premature babies alive. To the traffic lights preventing chaos on the streets. From the cellular networks that let us call for help. To the emergency lighting that guides people to safety. When the ground shakes, this vital lifeline is often the first thing to snap. So we have to ask a terrifying question. What happens when the big one hits? What happens to our society when the lights go out and don't come back on? What if our power didn't have to fail? What if, in the midst of absolute chaos, one critical thing remains steadfast? This is the problem that consumed an inventor named Maxwell. He looked at the traditional solutions, the hulking diesel generators bolted to concrete slabs. He saw their fundamental flaw. They are rigid. They are heavy. They try to fight the earthquake with brute force. And in a fight against the planet itself, brute force always loses. The concrete cracks. The bolts shear right off. The internal components, so perfectly aligned, are shaken into a useless heap of scrap metal. Maxwell realized you cannot win a fight against an earthquake. So he asked a different question. How can you dance with one? His breakthrough wasn't about building something stronger. It was about building something smarter. He embraced a counterintuitive principle. Don't resist the energy. Redirect it. Dissipate it. Let the ground have its tantrum while the machine remains serene at its core. This is the essence of the shaken, not stirred, philosophy. It's not about being immovable. It's about being unbreakable while in motion. The secret lies in defeating resonance. Resonance is the silent killer of structures during a quake. It's when the shaking frequency matches the natural vibration frequency of an object. That's when buildings pancake. That's when bridges collapse. Maxwell's generator is designed to never, ever resonate. It uses a system of adaptive suspension, a concept borrowed from high-performance racing. But instead of smoothing out a bumpy road, it's smoothing out the apocalypse. Let's take a look inside this engineering marvel. If you were to open the casing, the first thing you'd notice is what isn't there. There are no rigid, brittle connections. Every critical component is mounted on a series of advanced, multi-axis gimbals. Think of it as a sophisticated cradle. This cradle is constantly making microscopic adjustments. It's as if the generator has its own internal gyroscope, constantly fighting to stay level. The engine isn't bolted directly to the frame. It's connected through a series of flexible couplings and dampers. These components act like shock absorbers on a cosmic scale. They soak up the violent, jerking motions. They translate them into gentle, manageable sways. Now, look at the alternator, the heart that actually produces the electricity. It's suspended in a magnetic field. A passive magnetic field. Even if the entire outer shell is lurching violently, the alternator floats. It remains in perfect alignment. The flow of electricity never wavers. The materials themselves are a work of art. The frame isn't just steel, 
It's a carbon fiber composite. It's incredibly strong, yet it has a certain necessary flexibility. It can bend without snapping. It can twist without yielding. Critical wiring is not just insulated. It's housed in coiled, spring-like conduits. They can stretch and compress to absurd degrees without breaking a single connection. This is a machine that has been thought through from the largest component to the smallest bolt. But engineering on paper is one thing. Surviving the real world is another. So we took Maxwell's generator to the ultimate proving ground, a seismic simulation table. This table can replicate the exact ground motions of history's most devastating earthquakes. We started with a moderate shake, a 6.5 magnitude. The generator wobbled gently on its suspension. The power output on the monitor? A perfect, steady sine wave. We ramped it up. We input the data from the 1994 Northridge earthquake. The table began to buck and jolt with terrifying violence. Nearby, a conventional generator mounted rigidly shook itself to pieces in seconds. Its engine seized. Wires snapped. Maxwell's generator continued its strange, graceful dance. The power output flickered for a single instant, then stabilized completely. Then we went for the ultimate test. We simulated a 9.0 megathrust event, the kind that devastated Japan in 2011. The simulation table was a blur of motion. It was a horrifying sight. The generator's outer casing was swinging wildly. It looked like it was in the middle of a stormy ocean. But look at the data. Look at the monitor measuring electrical output. The voltage and frequency were rock solid. They didn't deviate more than half a percent. The machine was being thrown around like a ragdoll. Yet, on the inside, it was a placid, undisturbed lake. It was producing perfect, clean power in the middle of hell on Earth. The test was more than a success. It was a revelation. This changes everything. Imagine this technology deployed in a hospital. When the quake hits, the lights stay on. The ventilators keep pumping. The surgeons don't even have to pause. Imagine it in a data center. The servers hosting our global internet, our financial transactions, our cloud storage, never go offline. Billions of dollars in data and productivity are saved. Now, picture it in the immediate aftermath. This generator can be the beating heart of a disaster relief camp. It can power field hospitals. It can purify water. It can run communication equipment, helping to coordinate rescue efforts and reunite families. The implications for critical infrastructure are staggering. We could harden our power grid at its most vulnerable points. Substations, control centers, and nuclear plant backup systems could all be made resilient. Cities like San Francisco, Tokyo, and Istanbul could sleep a little easier. This isn't just about keeping the lights on. It's about maintaining order. It's about preserving hope. It's about proving that human ingenuity can create a pocket of stability in the face of nature's worst tantrums. Maxwell's invention is more than a generator. It is a paradigm shift. For too long, we have been building a world that is strong, but brittle. This shows us a path to a world that is flexible and therefore, unbreakable. The ground beneath our feet may always be uncertain. But now, for the first time, our power doesn't have to be. We can build a future that remains unshaken. We can engineer a tomorrow that stands firm. This is the promise of Maxwell's generator. A future where when the earth moves, our progress doesn't have to. The demonstration is over. The seismic table is still. But the implications are just beginning to ripple outwards. Think beyond the immediate crisis of a major earthquake. Consider the long, difficult road to recovery. The days and weeks after the ground stops shaking are often more deadly than the event itself. This is when the true test of a society's resilience begins. Without power, the recovery process slows to a crawl. Heavy machinery needed to clear rubble sits silent. Water pumps cannot push clean water through broken pipes. Refrigeration for life-saving medicines and food becomes non-existent. Maxwell's generator isn't just for surviving the quake. It's for powering the rebirth of a community. Its stability is its greatest asset in a chaotic environment. While the ground may still be settling with aftershocks, this generator would continue its work undeterred. 
it provides a constant, dependable foundation upon which every other recovery effort can be built. But the innovation doesn't stop at the generator itself. The underlying principles are what truly matter. This intelligent suspension system is a platform technology. It's a blueprint for resilience. Imagine scaling this concept up. What if we could apply this same philosophy to an entire cell phone tower? The tower could sway and flex, its antennas remaining perfectly aligned to maintain a critical communication lifeline. Now, imagine scaling it down. What about a small, portable version for a single household? A unit that could power a family's home, keeping their lights, heat, and communication running while the world outside is dark. This technology could redefine our relationship with natural disasters. It moves us from a position of fear and reaction to one of confidence and preparedness. The psychological impact of that shift cannot be overstated. Knowing that a core element of modern life will persist through chaos is profoundly empowering. It's a shield for our collective spirit. The journey of this invention is far from over. The next steps involve rigorous field testing in active seismic zones. It requires partnerships with forward-thinking governments and emergency response agencies. It needs to be integrated into building codes and urban planning for the cities of tomorrow. Maxwell's generator is a powerful proof of concept. It is a beacon, showing us that the problems we once thought were unsolvable are merely waiting for a new perspective. It challenges us to look at every piece of our critical infrastructure and ask one simple, revolutionary question. How can we make it not just stronger, but smarter? How can we make it not just resistant, but resilient? The answer will shape a safer, more stable world for generations to come. A world where we are no longer victims of the ground we stand on, but masters of the energy we create from it.